been 10 years since Songs About Jane, the album that everything was hinged on. Yeah, it's insane. It feels like it's been a decade. Does it? To me it does. Since we, since we released our first album, doesn't it feel like a long time ago? Yeah, sometimes, but then other times it feels like it was like yesterday. But then when I when I see the footage, yeah, because we're including a lot of old footage, and when I like I don't even recognize myself, I look completely different. It was hilarious. We've had a lot of fun actually looking at all that footage because we were totally different people. I mean, ten years is a long time. We've been through a lot since then. I was the same. <laughs> I was kind of stubborn, combative, rambunctious. No, not egotistical. <laughs> Confident, which is often misunderstood for egotistical. It's usually just people who are jealous of self-confidence that say that. Well, getting into deep psychology here. <laughs> it's true, right? It's good. it's good to be confident. There's a fine line. I think that we're finally unselfconscious about being a pop group. And we, we tended in the past, I think, to tread a line, you know, saying, oh, we're, we're a band, but we want to also have pop success. I think that wound up hurting us because you need to kind of shit or get off the pot. You gotta decide what you're gonna be and have do and do it with purpose so that people can understand what you are. You know, and I think that we tried to like chase some sort of thing that we never really were. You know, we didn't grow up in the alt alternative scene. Like we we're not a tried and true rock band. That's just not what we are. We kick ass live and we're a great band. But that doesn't mean that we fit in there. You know, so I think that we made like an unabashed pop record which I think we'll do wonders for us because it's the first record we've really ever made in which we completely embrace the fact that this is what we do, this is where we want to be. And, and we do that, I think, with, with, with confidence, which is going to be, I think, great for the band. A lot of people would love just to hear songs about Jane part two, three, and four, but for us it's really important that we're constantly moving forward creatively. And, and this seemed like sort of a quantum leap for us, be just because we did switch up the process so much. The first record that we made was extremely, the title was really honest, and it was just kind of songs about Jane. That's what these are. Um, let's just state the obvious. And I think that for the first time in a couple of records, this kind of really genuinely explains or tells a story about where we're at, you know, like kind of where we reside currently in the, in the consciousness. Like, we're overexposed. I feel that way. I think the band feels that way. So what better thing to do than to preemptively kind of go at it and, and, and be the first ones to admit it and put the flag there so that people can't say it. You know, I think it's a nice way to diffuse the whole thing. Britney Spears joining X Factor as a judge. Any advice for her? TV's weird, Britney. <laughs> it is. It's weird. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> she can handle her own against Simon, do you think? TV's weird, Britney. Good luck. Thanks so much. No comment. <laughs>